But when they asked me, you know, what, can you explain the phenomenon of it? I said, no, I can't. I mean, forget, don't ask me that question because I, uh, I never understood it from the very beginning. I said, well, I mean, I don't watch television. I never watch. I'm not being snooty about television. I just don't have time. Uh, there's some good things, and there's nothing wrong with the boob tube. It's just as, 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 as marvelous. Sometimes I've been as moved by the screen, television screen, as I have by uh, proscenium arches uh, or, or, or a silver screen in the theater or whatever they call them nowadays. But uh, no, it, it's a, I have no uh, favorites there. I had no knowledge of, 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 the, of what was going on in television and certainly didn't know about Dark Shadows. In fact, I was out in San Diego the Shakespeare Theater, uh, the Globe Theater there, doing uh, Caliban and The Tempest when Dark Shadows began. But um, anyway, you know, it was a very will-o'-the-wisp chance thing that I was uh, ever on the show because I told my agent that when I was through with um, the tour I was on after San Diego, I went on tour with Ray Milland in, in a thing called Hostile Witness, and I was on the road with him for um, about six months. And I told my agent that. When I got back to New York, I was not, I was going to go out to the coast and pick up where I left off at Yale and become a professor. And I had made all kinds of, of uh, preparations for getting jobs out there with resumes and visiting various colleges. That summer I was out on the West Coast. So I said, and I don't know when I'm going to be back in town because I'm going to stay in Florida after the tour ends and uh, I'll just be back, and, but so forget me. Well, anyway, <coughs> to make a long story short, I, the tour finished. I did stay for a few weeks in Florida, came back, got to my apartment, heard the phone ringing inside, dropped the bags, went in to uh, answer the call, the phone, and it was my agent. And I said, George, this is incredible. I mean, here I just came in the door, and, uh, and I said, what, is, what are you calling about? He said, well, there's a possibility of, of you doing something. I said, George, I told you that I wasn't going to call you when I got back. I'm not interested in anything. I want to go to the coast and, and carry on my academic career. But I know, but you're not going right away. I said, no, it'll be a few weeks. And he said, well, then why don't you go up and try for this role? I think you'd be good at it. And, and uh, he said, um, it'll give you some money to go out to the coast with. And I can always use a buck, extra buck, you know, so that kind of got me. And I said, what is it? And he said, well, it's a soap opera. I said, okay, what is it called? Dark Shadows. And I said, what do they want me to do? A vampire. I said, oh, God, wouldn't you know? So I said, I said okay, I'll, I'll go up. And, and uh, just to please you, I'll go up and, and uh, well, of course, I got it because I, wasn't, I didn't want it particularly. And I'll never forget being in Dan. Dan, by the way, was in Europe at the time. He did not cast me. It was his concept to do this vampire thing, but he, he was not in New York at the time. It was held up with some movie he was doing with, uh, over in Europe. And um, so his associate producer and the writers were the ones that cast me, in fact. And I remember going to the office and seeing all these cadavers sitting around, you know, that were also up at the last for the part. And, <laughs> but when I realized that I out-cadavered them all, <laughs> it wasn't exactly too heartening. But anyway, um, uh, I got the thing, and well, then the rest is history. But I mean, if I hadn't been at the door at that moment, if a traffic light had stopped the cab that was taking me from the airport back to my apartment, had got stopped by a traffic light or something, uh, I certainly wasn't going to call him. He wasn't going to call me again. He just called us on a chance I'd be back, and it was that close. So, of course, that's the story of every actor's life and probably the story of every human's life, uh, although we don't know it because we don't know what we've missed. But I, I came so close to missing something, for better or for worse, in my life.